As you prepare for your specimen collection, consult with your healthcare provider as it pertains to discontinuing medications and supplements. Follow as instructed. One hour prior to collection, do not eat, brush, or floss your teeth. Use mouthwash, lip balm, chewing gum, or any tobacco products. Only consume water during this time. Take the activation sleeve and add your date of birth and date of collection to four to six of the stickers, depending on if you have added on the cortisol awakening response test. After writing on them, apply one sticker to each of the specimen collection tubes. If you are doing the cortisol awakening response test, the first sample is to be collected within five minutes of waking up at 6 a.m. Rinse mouth with drinking water and spit out the water completely. Do not cough or clear your throat into the collection tube. Fill tubes in the numbered order, starting with tube one. Fill the collection tube to the designated level. If you are having trouble generating enough saliva, try pressing the tip of your tongue against your teeth. Yawning, imagining sour or flavorful foods, or smelling flavorful food can also help with saliva production. If the saliva is foamy, tap the tube on a hard surface to ensure there is enough fluid in the collection tube. Once enough fluid has been collected, recap the collection tube to avoid leakage. Record start and stop times on the vial. Place filled vial in the provided biohazard bag and into the freezer. Repeat the steps above for the next four tubes. Collection two should happen 30 minutes after waking and have one milliliter of saliva. Collection three should have three milliliters of saliva and will be collected between seven and nine a.m. Collection four should have three milliliters of saliva and be collected between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Collection five should have three milliliters of saliva and be collected between three and 5 p.m. The final collection, collection six, should have three milliliters of saliva and should be collected between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. All collected samples should be frozen for a minimum of two hours prior to sending. Keep in the freezer until ready to ship. Remove the biohazard bag from the freezer and place back in the specimen collection kit. Place the box into the provided FedEx packaging and add the label to the outside of the FedEx pouch. Bring package kit to any FedEx drop-off location.